Uh, they uh, marched us across the bridge and up into the hills, which was way up. Uh, oh, it was about a mile walk, I guess. And, to, and put us in a barn with just hay on the bottom and told us that I believe they told us that they were going to kill us the next day. Uh, whether they did or not, that was the intention. So we didn't have much of a sleep, and of course the fella, the other fellows, the other 39, they didn't know who I was. They were all civilians. And they were curious to know why I wouldn't sp talk to them too much, you see? Although I might have say, you know, a little bit of French, because they, Liège is French. So the next morning, we got up and they gave us these shovels and told us to start digging two to a hole in the farmyard. So everybody got busy. And, uh, at that point, I think they told us they were going to, you know, shoot us all because they still hadn't found the two soldiers that had gone missing. So then we started digging, and uh, I thought, well, now, if I get digging with a, an older man, maybe I can convince him that he won't give me away or won't do anything, that he'd be a loyal Belgian. And so he kept talking to me, you know, and I tried to answer in my French and everything. And so finally he said in English, no, he said in French, he said, you're not English, you're not Belgian, what are you? you see? I said, well, uh, <laughs> I'm a Canadian airman in hiding. Well, that, that, of course, put him through the roof. <laughs>